Hey everyone, I'm Enrico from John B. Anthony Company and I've got a quick video for you today on the Allen & Heath SQ mixers. I had someone in another video request how to set up a vocal effect to go just to their monitor, whether that's a floor wedge or some in-ears. I'm going to show you how to set all that up. You might be in a situation too where maybe you want to send a reverb out to a stream mix that you have on an aux or a matrix, but don't want that going out through your front of house. Your stream mix might be very dry and you wanna add some life to it, but you don't need to do that to your main front of house. Same, same kind of routing. I'll show you how to set both of those up. Before we jump in, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you see when we put out more videos like this. Right now, I have my lead vocal selected. We're looking at the processing screen and the inputs. You want to head over to your effects and make sure that you have the appropriate effect that you want set up, whether that's a reverb delay or what it, whatever it is. So that's set up on effects one for turn for this particular reverb. Over on my routing tab, I want to work with the input. And here I have my lead vocal again. It's going out through my main output, and we want that. That's the main dry lead vocal, and it's got its appropriate level. You want to make sure that all your auxes have the appropriate spot for the monitors. Head over to your effects one send, make sure it's on, and then set the appropriate send level that you would like to go into that reverb that we set up. Once that's all squared away, head over to your effects, and I'm gonna pull up my vocal reverb. Make sure that your main left and right is turned off so you're not sending that reverb to your main outputs, whatever that may be, whether it's a PA, your streaming output, or anything else going through your mains. You can set the appropriate level, but you can see that it's not actually going to do anything until we turn it on. Now, it's not in our main left and right output, but we want to go and take our auxes and turn it on for maybe that singer's wedge or in-ears and then make sure that they are getting that appropriate level. Again, you can repeat the same thing for maybe a streaming mix that needs some life to it and add some reverb. Just make sure you go and do that for every channel, whether you're copy and pasting the routing or you're setting it up one by one. That's going to cover everything we need to do to route an effect to an aux or a matrix and bypass the main left and right output. If you have any questions, make sure you leave them down below or you want to request something else for me to cover on an Allen Heath board, hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can see when we put out more videos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.